You know, progressives have this ability to take an absolute nothing story and turn it into a big deal to them. Now, this is a story that I wrote for Bounding. Feminist writer takes exception to a Twitter user's opinion that Hillary Duff has aged like fine wine. Now, some of you guys read that title and you think to yourself, what? Well, that's exactly how I thought. Let's go down here for a second. So, Hillary Duff, as most of you guys probably know, if you grew up in the early 2000s, was the star of the Disney Channel show, Lizzie McGuire. But now in current year, she is a 34-year-old mother of three children. And who looks objectively good at her, for her age? Now, that line right there is what caused this whole meltdown in the first place. When you say that someone looks good for their age. Because there was one writer that took exception to the fact that someone commented on the looks of a 34-year-old woman, not even in a negative way, but they took it as a personal attack on women in their mid-30s. Now, follow the logic on this. A couple weeks ago, Hillary Duff graced the cover of the Women's Health Naked Issue for the month of May and June. And, but in the article, she opened up about her struggles dealing with Hollywood's perfect uh, standards beauty standards right now you could argue that with current hollywood those standards hasn't exist in the last few years but we'll talk about that on another day out of my body i'm proud that it's produced three children for me i've gotten to a place of being peaceful with the changes my body have gone through so from what i read there really isn't nothing to this story at all that was until one comment from one twitter user caused a writer for the independent to have an absolute meltdown a post from a Lizzie McGuire fan account simply stated Hillary Duff has aged like fine wine and used some of the pictures that were presented in the magazine. You asked yourself, well, what exactly happened here? Well, let's go down a little bit more. Now, some of the comments on this post actually attacked this account for suggesting that she wouldn't look good at the age of 34. Here's one post you can read right here. It says, what the fuck? She's 34 years old. Call me when she wants to do this at 43. Woman has a personal trainer, a dietitian, and a staff of people keeping her body in shape. But yes, let's act like she's a normal everyday mom. Okay. Keep in mind, the original post didn't imply anything that this person is saying. Here's another post. People really think that you turn 30 and evaporate in the dust. Once again, was never said in the original post. Here's another poster. There's there any chance that a man wrote this tweet or Gen Z or both? I feel like when we turn 30, we're expected to turn into dust. Again, no one said anything. As a matter of fact, let me just shoot back up here. This is all the person said. That's it. This is it. But these people on Twitter weren't the only ones that were upset by this. Kate Nguyen which I believe is her last name, if I'm saying that correctly, forgive me, who is a reporter for The Independent who covers social and women's issues, decided to write an article based off of that one tweet that's entitled, Hillary Duff Naked Magazine Cover is the Last Thing Women Need. Now, she was upset with the post, as many online feminists did, because she perceived it as implying that women in their 30s are not supposed to look good. Something that they projected onto themselves that no one else said. And here, a quote from the article, The internet is falling over itself to marvel about how a female celebrity in her mid-30s could possibly look so fit because women aren't supposed to turn into sexless, anamorphic blahs after their 29th birthday, she said. She continues, What is a woman of 34 expected to look like? By the sounds of it, whoever manages that social media account seems to think that by the time we're 35, women should resemble an old crone uh, in the snow white and our vagina is practically turned into dust when 40 rolls around there's a lot of projection going on here with this entire story I, I feel like i need to even like go back just one more time and remind you this is all the post said that's it let's jump back down again so she continues again does that mean that women sour and become undrinkable, so to speak, when we hit the same age? Once again, referring to an argument that no one is making. 
Comments like this uphold the impossible standards that women are expected to meet if they want to stay visible behind their beyond their 20s. There's a lot of insecurity in the progressive left. And I think a lot of these posters, including the woman who wrote this article, kind of projected their own anger and their own insecurities on this one Twitter user who made a statement that was basically just commenting Hillary Duff and was not trying to speak by and large to all women in their mid-30s. Progressive women in their mid-30s looked at it a different way. So progressives love to blame Hollywood for holding sexist attitudes towards women, yet they never seem to question how a business that is mostly controlled by people who think like them would allow such a mindset to take hold in the first place. And how do we even get here? How do we even get on this topic? Because a bunch of people saw one guy, a Lizzie McGuire fan page, a Lizzie McGuire Twitter page, compliment Hillary Duff, and they use that to attack the guy and project their own insecurities on everyone else. You know, there's a little thing called snitching on yourself. Is when you project your insecurities on the other people in arguments that they didn't even make, and you end up exposing things about yourself that no one else would have known unless you had it spoken up and said it in the first place. I think that's what's happening with a lot of these people who are upset by this tweet. They're projecting arguments, they're projecting sexism, they're projecting insecurities onto a poster that that wasn't trying to attack anything that they were complaining about in the first place. We'll talk about this and more this Friday night on The Bar Room here on the YouTube channel for Society Reviews.